Welcome to these daily Advent Reflections, available each morning from 8 o'clock, from now until Christmas. And we start with the image used in our Advent service, Van Gogh's Starry Night, an apocalyptic vision of a night sky, pairing well with Jesus' words in Luke about the Son of Man coming again. We reflected that Jesus comes to bring near the kingdom of God, God's reign on earth. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. When we live with the kingdom spirit and bear the kingdom's fruit, compassion, mercy, forgiveness, joy, peace and love, then God comes nearer because God is present in all the fruit of the spirit. And we live this fruit better the closer we are to God. And we draw closer to God when we spend time adoring, worshipping, praying, being. Our spirit and God's spirit become one. Keep watch, says Jesus. Be alert. Evelyn Underhill was a spiritual writer, an Englishwoman of deep prayer. One of her great mantras was that God continually comes to God's people. Cultivating a spirit of Advent is essential, for our spiritual lives depend on God's perpetual coming to us. Evelyn encourages us to to learn the art of listening to the Spirit's whisper. This involves attentive waiting and watching for what God is doing among us and within us, and humble, eager expectancy, so that we can welcome, notice and celebrate God's coming. Evelyn writes, The world is full of jangling noises. You know that there are better melodies, but you will never transmit the heavenly music to others unless you yourselves are tuned into it, giving it careful and undivided attention during part of each day. You must yourselves be spiritually alive. Attention to God is the primary religious act our thoughts of him are often pitiably thin, narrow, conventional. Ourselves, our works, our anxieties slip into the centre of the picture and God becomes merely the source of energy for carrying on our activities. There are a great deal too many who merely utilise prayer. We are so obsessed by the importance of our work, our friends and our interests. If we put God's worship last and our needs first, all proportion goes. Then instead of the expansion that comes from selfless adoration, our souls contract. God is calling you, demanding your complete surrender in order that you may become completed persons. Nothing matters but that demand and your soul's response. The essence of life is that response, whether made in work or in prayer. Augustine's great saying is appropriate here. God is the only reality and we are only real insofar as we are in him and he in us. Only a spiritual disposition, which thus puts the whole emphasis on God, perpetually turning to God and losing itself in God, is safe. Only this disposition escapes a Christianity that dwells on its work and tries to use God's power for its chosen activity. Once we have given ourselves to God, God's action transcends precedes and controls our own and goes on all the time, 
whether we are aware of it or not. The central point governing the work that any soul can do for God and other souls is its attitude to him, its relationship to him, its self-oblivious adoration. A prayer. Thank you, God, that you keep coming to me, though I often miss the secret and humble ways in which you do so. Please forgive me for being distracted by busyness or things that are not really important and for the times I've ignored you. Make me lovingly expectant of your coming to me this Advent. Open my eyes, unblock my ears and enable me to slow down so I can recognise, welcome and respond to your comings. Help me to imagine you as the choir master of my life and come and dwell within me. In Jesus' name. Amen.